With the uh, acceleration and uh, I guess slowdown within optical equipment, um, what business practices have changed at uh, just in terms of you know how you go out and do business and everything from like inventory so on and everything? We are. We took the classical Silicon Valley approach. We're trying to innovate faster than ever. Um, and I think we're doing it. The, uh, today, we can make a, a 10 gigabit per second transceiver that's the size of that pen cap. That's a full laser, photodiode, amplifiers, the whole bit. It runs for less than a watt. It's competitive with what others sold a year ago or within the last year for uh, $30,000 and for 20 watts and things this size. Um, so we're, first of all, trying to innovate like mad. Um, second of all, we're trying to see where, what's holding up our market. And this is a, this is a super nerd thing. So if, you know, if anybody starts drifting off, you know, we'll just say, OK, let's pause for a minute. We'll go, we'll go talk someplace else. Mm -hmm. but, but what Finis are, what, 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 what happened in the optic space is this. JDS and those guys worked on the, the, the national network, the long haul network. And at one point over the last year, the whole internet, if all the packets lodged into it and were, were brought through one point and counted and sent back out, it was about 15 terabits per second on average. You know, if you averaged a whole day's traffic. Sometimes it was more, sometimes less, but it was about 15 terabits. Finisar sold optics into buildings for connecting storage, for connecting the backbones of ethernets and things like that. In November, December, and January of last year, we sold 150 terabits per second per month into that space over here. So we, here's 15, here's 150 per month. So we just saturated it. We just poured it in. Connecting these two spaces is the metropolitan area network that ties things together. And that's done over a twisted pair from Alexander Graham Bell. It's T1, it's DSL, it's garbage. <laughs> And the problem is we've got these two magnificent islands of connectivity floating on a sea of, of, of non-connectivity. So Finisar spent almost all of our money of the last year trying to solve the metro problem. Today, we can take a switch from Extreme Foundry Cisco, plug in a module into it that, was, that was, looks just like the, all the other ones we ever built last year at, at thousands per, per week. And uh, a little 1U box goes below it. And we can network a building like Terman, onto, an, onto the internet at a gigabit. If there were multiple you know, businesses in that building, we can serve each one of those businesses with 100 megabits switch service. And we can do that at uh, $200 a port. Not per month, just 200 bucks. Got to rent the fiber. So today, we can deliver 100 megabit services to, to multi-tenant dwellings for less than the cost of DSL and T1s. And that's what we're trying to do. We're going to try to fill the gap between these two things and, and, and power that up. When we do, this mark, and if we do fail, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, it matters because I, I really care. I want to I win. But what really matters is that someone's got to fix this problem. I think we're the ones who are going to do it. But when we do, this long haul market takes off because the, because the stress is put on it. And this sh very short haul market takes off because all of a sudden there's things to leave that building and there's more reasons for people to have more bandwidth. But all sorts of models of computing don't work when you have Copper wires tying together two things that are going at, at, at near terabit rates. So, you know, all this video on demand and, and you know, how, do you, how would you download movies and how would you do distance learning and how would you do conferencing and how would you do ASP software, all those, mo you never would double click Microsoft Word and launch it over a T1 line. <laughs> we might as well go home. But at 100 megabits, you do it all the time. And, and so we, we have to solve this connectivity problem, and that's what we're doing.